All right, guys, um, we're gonna do a live well pump exchange today. I'm gonna show you the removal and install for a new pump, and this is a through transom mount. Um, <clears throat> I went with the Atwood brand. It's 500 gallons per hour. Uh, it's a little bit of a grade. My one I have now, I think is 300 or 360. So we'll get a little more flow with this one. But these are the tools you're gonna need, inch and a quarter wrench for the size nut on the pump, uh, wire cutters and crimp pieces, a pair of channel locks just in case, flat tip screwdriver, lighter for your heat shrink, butt connectors, zip ties, clean up your wiring, cut old zip ties, and this is just a coping saw to cut whatever is extra running out the back of the transom there. And this is our old pump, how it's in here, and we got some, some zip ties we need to cut, get the wires out, clean it up, disconnect a few things there, that hose clamp's gotta come off, and then, we got our cover on the back here, which just unscrews, and hopefully it fits the same size here, but we're gonna have to pull this nut off, get this pump out, put the new one in, cut it flush like you see, and go from there. Let's get started. All right, so now we got everything laid out, got all our stuff. Let's work on getting this one out. We're gonna take and remove this hose clamp see how well this is on if they siliconed it on or not and it looks like they may have all right so what we're gonna have to do is use a screwdriver and pry against the housing here work this hose off there we go just like that we'll set that to the side for now find our wires that run up it's gonna be this bunch here we're going to get some of these zip ties cut. See what we got going on with this. Get those out of the way. Get some of these wires cleaned up here. And that looks like that's going to be zip tied on as well. chase and see what wires go. So it's going to be this bunch right here. It's going to run in. So we can take and cut these right around here where we have enough lead to work with. And then we'll have enough to connect and zip tie and clean our wires back up. Going to take them Pull our wires up here and make sure we got our right ones. Okay, that goes down to the pump, comes up here. This will give us enough room to work with. So this is where we're gonna cut them. That. Okay. Now we need to come to the back here and see if we can get this undone. I don't know if this is going to be the same size or not. It appears to be close. <clears throat> All right, so this took two hands to get it to break loose, so I couldn't hold the camera. But now we got it working. Just got to slowly get this thing off of here. Cover off here, silicone in place. Gotta work it around nice and easy. Not to break this mount. And there we go. We got our two pieces. That's through. Push that. We got the hole that they cut for the hole. Alright, come back up top here, should have enough room, so pull this right through here, and just like that, alright, I forgot we are going to need silicone, so along with the list of stuff just to get a good seal on it, make sure we put some silicone on it before we install it back. 
Okay, that's our old pump. And this thing was squealing and making all kinds of noise. Um, I probably could have pulled it out, switched out the motor on it, and uh, went from there, but I wanted a bigger, bigger pump anyways to pump more water because I got a decent sized live well here. I believe it was originally a 30 or 35 gallon. And um, I want more flow just to keep bait alive. You know, green back, you want a fresh, fresh flow of water coming through. All right, now we got our new pump. We're gonna take this nut off right here. Hopefully it's the same diameter, should be. Everything seems to be pretty common. We'll try to slide this through. We'll get a mark on it so we know That. that's in tight and then this is all the extra we got here so we'll take and we'll make a little mark all right so i like to use this 4200 or the 5200 stuff that they make it's really good uh it's really messy so make sure you have something to kind of keep yourself cleaned up with but we're going to put some of this around it and then get our nut on and get our other stuff going on it. If this is even still good. It's cold, a little cold today, so this stuff is a little harder to work with. But it is gonna hold great. I <laughs> really don't even need a nut for this. It may be a pain in the butt if we ever have to change it again which we will, but it's nice to have it sealed up good. All right, there's that. Put our cover on. And I'll help seal it. Not on. I was going to cut it outside of the boat, but I think I'm just going to get it mounted up and then cut it in place. You can do it either way. And then we'll get our inch and a quarter wrench for this nut and get it tightened down. That's snugged up there. We want to make sure that this part side of the pump is going to be in the right location where our hose mounts up so that way it's not in a weird angle everything can stay flow you can still access it you can get to the pump so everything looks good there we can get to our tab to release it which is right here we have need to change the motor out clean it whatever happens so we'll take that there we'll grab our wrench it's down here all right now we'll hold this Cause these threads don't matter you're getting messed up now because we're going to be cutting it in place right. almost need a third hand here All right. that's it that's good there and we're going to take Make sure the hose, everything lines up good. Gives a lot more, more room to it there. Okay, slides on nice, no kinks. It's good. Uh, all right. All right. Like I said, I had uh, found the coping saw. Well, I found my <laughs> little hacksaw, so it's good for the plumbing and everything. So that's what we're gonna use on this to get this cut, and we're just gonna go flush with the nut there 
just like so, cut all the way through. Just like that. And then a little bit of debris in there. We're just gonna get that out. Don't want any new stuff in the pump. And we may even take and pull that motor off real quick and blow that out just so we know. We're not gonna get anything foreign objects into it right away. But it looks good. Okay. And we got our cover cover back on ta-da that'll be it get back in the inside here and we'll get, we'll get like we slid our hose on already so make sure that's all the way on there and then we'll slide our hose clamp back up right here and we'll get that tightened up get this hose clamp tightened back up Right. Now we're going to go through and get this wiring. So here's our new leads. Pull these rubber bands off. Get our leads ran how we want. Over here. Okay. Just like that. Same color for your power and your ground. So no confusion there. This is for our bilge pump so we're going to push that to the side and we're going to strip these wires the new ones are already stripped so we'll get straighten them out get them cleaned up get our butt connectors ready get it crimped on and then we will heat shrink them all right so here's our wires let's get them stripped Any of these loose pieces from these wires when you're stripping them, make sure you get them out of the boat because they can get caught in your bilge pump. They can mess up stuff, so always get that stuff out. Just make sure these wires are nice and clean looking, straight. Straighten up these ones. Okay, then we will get one connector on here, make sure these wires are nice and straight and tight so they're not getting kinked up, twist it on like that, red connector, we're using the red crimp part on here, go like this, give it a solid squeeze, that'll hold that in place. Come over here to our power and get some here. All right, nice and straight. Twist and slide in. I'm using the red. There we go. Come down till it stops. Now we're going to find the brown wire here. Same deal. Slide it in, give it a little twist so it goes in nice and straight. Crimp. Tight. We need a black wire here. Go to our black wire. Make sure this one's nice and straight and tight. Alright. Slide that one in. There we go. Right, now we're going to take our lighter and we're going to heat shrink them. And what we're going to do for that is kind of get a flame going. Let me make sure this light oh, it might be out of fluid soon. And just rotate the wire just 
rolling it back and forth and then you'll see the color kind of come through on the connector and you know okay it's got a decent melt to it where it's shrunk to it just kind of rolling that wire even heat not in one spot you don't want to burn it okay like so now do our other one same deal twisting the wire rolling it making sure it gets even heat you see it melting down do the next one it's melting down that looks good there we go let those cool after it cools off then we'll get all this wire consolidated back up get all this stuff zip tied back together make it look nice and neat so it's out of the way and all right so we're ready to consolidate these wires get these things cleaned back up so this one goes to our bilge pump we're going to put one on this separate from everything else just to tighten these wires up okay there's one now we're going to take the new live well pump we just did and we're going to get all them wires fold them into each other try to make it nice and even just like that and we're going to put a separate zip tie on these as well kind of have them all separated before we put them all together on the main main line over here all right that's two separate ones we did and then we're going to take and zip tie them together and put them to this group of cables here on the back side just to keep them tucked out of the way nice and neat we'll cut these tag ends off of the zip ties make it look nice like that like that and then we'll put ties on these to hold them out of the way here just try to keep everything as nice as possible you can take and cut all this extra lead off um, it's not gonna hurt anything I like to leave it on just so you have extra to work with when you have to pull pumps in and out and do stuff you're not sh struggling for uh, room and space all right and that's it looks pretty good so what I like to do, like I said, is always pick up all these pieces of the wires when you strip them off and clean them. All these pieces of zip ties, all that stuff. Don't ever leave it in there because anything gets sucked up into the bilge pump, clog the bilge pump, have problems with that. You know, it's just extra stuff you're going to have to deal with in the end.